this is part two. Um, that's that's all you need to know. <sighs> yes. Give me views, humans. Um, this was very funny to record as well. Um, we go to a fortress. Yay. So here I am in the nether, hunting stuff down. I was sent to go find a fortress. Um, so I decided what better way to do it than to cross this lava area. Um, by the way, how do you guys think I do on this music? And then I get stuck because I have no blocks because... Yeah, I had not prepared in the slightest, so I tried tried getting blocks. I got one, and not wanting to waste it, I put it down in the safest spot. Then I was able to easily mine more, so that kind of saved me. This tree kind of saved me from having to do much, although I would have risked jumping. I don't really care. Um, yeah, we, we, we mined wood. Or I mind what I should say. John and Patrick were out somewhere. Um, this is essentially a direct continuation of the first video. Uh, I'm doing a lot of editing now, so um, videos might not be released as often. Then I saw the whole piglin band showing up, and I was like, okay, I gotta. If I shield up, I think I would be good. Then I get hit. I'm like, one and a half hearts is barely anything. And then I turn around, and what is that? What is that? Somebody tell me, what is that? And I decide, uh, out of sheer panic, I teleport to Patrick. And then he dies to a pig. And then I proceed to fight the pig that he's fighting. And, you know, don't worry about Clash Royale. Um, I'm completely ignoring that. I kill a giant pig. And run around because I'm bored. That's, that's essentially what happened. And then I get double teamed. And I proceed to get shot to death, I believe. No, never mind. I escape at literally the world's lowest health in history. Um, I have no idea how I'm alive at this point. I'm just kind of, I'm in panic mode. I'm in sheer panic. And then when that baby hog room shows up, that's, that's when you know it's over. They run way too fast. Um, so yeah, I mind wood. Very easy. Um... And then Patrick fell from a high place. Very hilarious. Uh, I killed the pig because the pig should die. The pig should not be alive right now. And then I get hit from behind because I had no idea how to use a shield at that moment. Like I said, sheer panic. Sheer panic. Um, oh yeah, you guys remember how in the first video I told you that um, there's going to be these two parts to this? Well, I'm milking it even more because I got to go back on there to play even more. They had not killed the dragon, and so you guys get a bunch of fun new content on the survival. This is not the final video. There will be, I think there's five parts that I have saved right now, and more to come in the future. Then Patrick absolutely shows up and demolishes them. Thank you, Patrick. And I run through the army, and then immediately get slain by the pigs. Yeah. Moving on. We we raid we raid a fortress. Um that was crazy. Um it's very cool actually. Well boys, if my voice sounds any different, that is because it's been a while since I have last worked on this. But it's the moment you've been waiting for. The one and only Nether Fortress hunt. Now I know I'm talking over the fight itself, but um so here, here it is. We, we were running around, right? And we're like, oh my god, look, an open spot. And guess what? This is where Patrick came from. And so now we know that we're entirely stumped because Patrick ended up dying here. Meaning that we are entirely dead. So I did what any reasonable person would do. And that's shove his valuables into a robot. Because we're already doing that today. Ever heard of ATMs? Anyways, we ran around avoiding the zombified piglins because if we hit any of them, we are, um, legally dead. And then we started getting beat up by skeletons. I don't know why. They don't, they don't work. I've never really been afraid of skeletons. Oh, no, they're magma cube. See? That, that's not good. See? 
I was about to start explaining. See, I already, I already forgot what I did here. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. The magnet cubes have certainly surprised me, and I was eating right now. I was, I had the lowest health at this point, and you know, this funny Blaze boy started um, completely demolishing my friends. But we were on the hunt for Blaze rods. There was no turning back now. I loaded up my crossbow and I got ready to fight. I had the most health now, and I had to take out these Magma Slimes. Then I got hit with Wither, and I kind of passed away, but I would talk about that. But I'm about the teleportation. This is, this is mandatory because there ain't no way I'm coming back all that way. So then John withers away. Very sad, very sad, Rip. Um, I'm trying to like deflect hits here because we need to reserve as much health as we can because I'm not about to lose it all again. And every time the slimes become more slimes, it becomes more and more of a pain to kill them. That's when I realize I'm completely overwhelmed and I need to go meet back up with the gang before I end up dying alone. So I decide to go ahead and pull the great teleporting John to me. Because if I can't go to the gang, I'm bringing the gang to me. Also because he asked for a teleport. So I went back to my agent. And immediately started trying to find out where Patrick went. And well, 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 if it isn't that blaze. Well, 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 and the skeleton has golden armor. See, I need a duck for the That, 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 you know, this happens. I teleport to Patrick. Oh my god, more blazes! My shield is gonna break if I keep doing this. This is not good in any way. In any way, shape, or form. I remember we were doing a side quest as well. We were trying to get blaze rods. And that's when we realized, oh, we have no shot out here. We have no shot. And so I did what anybody anybody in a situation like this would do. Ever watch the movie Alien? I, I had everybody rush into a tiny little room and immediately blocked it off. Safety. Ah, yes. Saf. See, now that we were very safe in our little, um, annoying home of, uh, dead, we could, like, sit here, you know, and realize that the blazes could shoot from the top, and I decided to crossbow them down, because that is not a good sight. And then we realized, hey, look, it's like a mob farm. Oh my god. And so, Joe, I immediately took advantage, and we started picking out the blazes one by one. I accidentally hit John, and then I continued picking out the blazes, because they do not deserve life. They they cursed me and my amigos, the trio. As you can see, we then run outside out of coward cowardice and fear of, oh no, I'm dead for the second time now, how sad. Well, back to the nether. You see, this this is amazing because now the agent comes with me. And I'm like, oh, cool. And then I get withered for like the fifth time because I'm no, no good at mobile PvP. Even though I used to play every day of my life. Um, emphasis on the word used to. <laughs> it has been a while. Anyway, so I start sniping down blazes from here. We're on the hunt for blaze rods. We have the spawner, but oh no, nothing is spawning. They're all spawning out there. What's the point of coming to the blaze spawner if there are no blaze spawns? You see, then I then I realize that keep inventories on, and I I make a mad dash for my agent so I can grab my loot back. But then John leaves the game. Oh no. And then instead of grabbing loot, I realize that my inventory is going to fill and I can't grab any more loot, so I shove useless stuff in there instead. And you might notice that I don't put the bones in the most orderly fashion. Um, that is because uh, I was in a panic. And, oh no, when you're in a panic, nothing good happens. And so I ran back out there 
John was still trying to connect. And I sat here fighting like the brave, valiant, valiant, valiant soldier I was. Then I get hit once and immediately cowered back into my little hole of hiding. And then the hero of the day makes it Jonathan. Just as Patrick was slain, the Jonathan connects. And I beat up this like withered guy thing. He's, he's like very funny. Then Patrick comes here because he is actually um, the Chad. He, he led this entire fight, so I guess he deserves it. Mm -hmm. He's also the one that found this fortress anyway, so John and I are just kind of riding off the coattails of our good friend. And so I covered it up with dirt this time because I'm still cowarding in fear. Ah! That was the most unrealistic scream ever, but I can't scream. I can't scream. Then I decide, you know what, we're done. We're done, we have it all. And we die, because that's unnecessary. Back to the base. Bro, Enderman pearls, Ender balls, bro. Hey, yo. Nah, bro, they're Ender balls. Yo, we also need to find some food. We're like almost out. Yeah, I know. I don't have an agent. These two have. Wait, you put stuff in my chest. Do we have different chests now? Yeah, I said, remember? Yeah, you know. The whole thing about me being bottom also is the top chest and you're the middle? Do you not remember? Uh, Wait, you don't remember a word? And that's part two. I'm sorry, this took me a couple months to get out. Um, But it's out. Uh, I went on a trip, uh, so... I want to make a video on that too. That's going to that's going to go on vlogs about stuff. I'll link the channel in the description. Uh yeah, I'm becoming uh more of a normal YouTuber, you know? All right then. Sub to news about stuff. Give subscribers.